question number 13. It is 16 plus sin x raised to the power 12 plus cos x raised to the power 11 sec square y and cos x square y ko hum right hand side mein le jate hain then it is greater than or equals to sec square y plus 9 cos x square y plus sec z raised to the power 8 minus twice secant z plus log 5 minus cos square x to the base 2 and x, y, z all the three are belonging to close interval 0 comma 2 pi. This is a boundary condition kind of problem. We know that sin x raised to the power 12 plus cos x raised to the power 11 is less than or equals to sin square x plus cos square x. because sin x is a number less than 1. So, if you will increase the power, the value will decrease. That is why this is smaller than this. They may be equal when sin x is 1 or minus 1. That is why I am saying it is less than or equals to this. Similarly, it happens with this pair. If cos x is negative, naturally it is smaller than cos square x. If it is positive, less than 1, the power is higher, that is why less than cos square x. And if cos x is 1, they may be equal. That's why we are saying it is less than or equals to sin square x plus cos square x or 1. This implies the left hand side is less than or equals to 17. Similarly, let us talk about the right hand side. We have sec square y plus 9 cos x square y. Let us convert in tan and cot. It is 1 plus tan square and 1 plus cot square gives us 1 plus 9 plus tan square y plus 9 times cot square y and we know the minimum value of this expression is 2ab now a square tan square y plus b square cot square y 2ab is 6 therefore it is always greater than or equals to 16 and 6z raised to the power 8 the second term of right hand side we are discussing about the right hand side expression 6z raised to the power 8 minus 2 secant z is greater than or equals to sec square z minus 2 sec z because secant z is greater than or equals to 1. Sec square z is greater than or equals to 1 and you are increasing the power then the value will be higher. If sec z is 1 then both the side will be equal. Now we can add and subtract 1 in this expression. This gives us secant z minus 1 whole square minus 1 we can make it perfect as square and we know that the least value of this expression is 0. So, the least value of this expression is minus 1. There is a third part of the right hand side log 5 minus cos square x to the base 2. The least value of this expression will be obtained when cos square x is maximum which is 1. It is log 4 to the base 2 which is 2. So, it is greater than or equals to 2. If I add these three in equation, first, second and the third one, by adding these three, I will have the right hand side part of this inequality is greater than or equals to 16 minus 1 plus 2 or 17. So, right hand side is greater than or equals to 17 and this is always less than or equals to 17. If it is the maximum value of this thing is 17 and the least value of this is 17. So, if we are expecting it to be greater than this, it is not possible. Yes, they can be equal when both are 17 simultaneously. So, when the, it is going to happen, the left hand side and right hand side, both should be 17 is the conclusion and it will happen. It will happen when this expression become 1, the maximum value of this expression become 1. If it is 1, then it happens when this is 1 this is 0 and as well as you will look at here this value will be must be 2 this value will be 2 when cos square x is 1 if cos square x is 1 then sin x cannot be 1 so if cos square x is 1 we have two choices either 
cos square x is 1 and we have two choices cos x equals to plus minus 1. Now using these two possibilities we will work upon the solution if cos x is plus minus 1 sin x is 0. So this, this expression will take its maximum value as 17. So cos x equals to plus minus 1 is valid for left hand side but if consider cos x equals to minus 1 it will make it minus 1 this is 0 the value will not be maximum therefore we should reject the minus 1 we will say cos x should be 1 not minus 1 this value will be cancelled if cos x is 1 now look at the right hand side part we are expecting it to be the minimum minimum to a b in the form the value is 6 it is obtained when tan y and tan cot y both 3 cot y both are equal tan y equals to 3 cot y which implies tan square y equals to 3 or tan y equals to plus minus root 3 this is about y now we have to work for z this will be minimum when second z is 1 so this is the second this is the third one third condition which we require secant z should be 1 secant z is 1 when z is either 0 to pi similarly tan y will be plus minus root 3 and 0 to 2 pi 4 times in first quadrant it will take root 3 value and third quadrant root 3 and negative value will, will be taken in second and fourth as we are not interested in the value that's why i'm not calculating the values I am just quoting the number of solutions. There are four solutions. Here there are two solutions, and cos x will be one two times when x is zero and x is two pi. Now look at the options. The first option is the number of possible values of x are two. It is correct. Then B option number of possible ordered pair of x comma y. Now x can take two possible values and y can take four. That's why the number of ordered pair x comma y will be eight. C is the number of possible ordered pair y comma z y can take 4 values, z can take 2 values, that y comma z can take 8 kind of different values, different pair of values and d is about the order triplet x, y, z. So x can take 2 values, y can 4 and z can 2, therefore 2 into 4 into 2 the fundamental principle of counting gives us a 16 order triplet. So all the 4 options a, b, c, d are correct. Question number 14. Let us assume these three quantities are equal to lambda cot a by 2, then 2 cot b by 2 is equal to 3 cot c by 2. Let us say all the three ratios are lambda. We know that summation of cot a by 2 is equal to product of cot a by 2 in case of a triangle or a plus b plus c is 180 therefore we can apply this rule using this rule we can find the value of lambda it is lambda plus lambda upon 2 plus lambda upon 3 equals to lambda lambda by 2 lambda by 3 this comes to be 1 plus half plus 1 upon 3 equals to lambda cube upon 6 you can cancel one of the lambda as lambda cannot be 0. All the cot cannot be 0 simultaneously. That is why lambda square is equal to 6 times and this value comes to be 11 by 6. So lambda is root 11. Lambda cannot be taken negative as it will make all the cotangent as negative and the triangle ABC is there therefore cot a by 2 cot b by 2 cot c by 2 should be positive as a by 2 b by 2 c by 2 are acute angles now using this value we are having the values of cot a by 2 cot b by 2 cot c by 2 so we can verify the first option whether the sum is 1 by 6 or not cot a by 2 cot b by 2 cot c by 2 can be calculated then cosine a can be calculated well, let us verify the first one summation cot a by 2 is equal to this quantity which is lambda times lambda times 11 by or say 5 by 6 plus 1 is 11 by 6 so if lambda is 11 root 11 then it is 11 root 11 by 6 
so the first option is wrong then b option is cosine a which is 1 minus tan square a by 2 divided by 1 plus tan square a by 2 cot a by 2 is lambda and lambda is root 11 then cot a by 2 is root 11 so lamb cot a by 2 ki helps him tan a by 2 likhenge 1 upon root 11 1 minus 1 upon 11 upon 1 plus 1 upon 11 this is 10 upon 12 or 5 upon 6 therefore b option is right the c option is the largest angle you know that cot theta is a decreasing function as cot theta is decreasing its graph is something like this in 0 to pi by 2 so as it is decreasing so the least value of if cot theta is least then theta will be max so cot a by 2 is lambda cot b by 2 is smaller lambda by 2 and cot c by 2 is the smallest lambda by 3 therefore the angle c should be largest c option is correct and for d option we can write this s square upon delta as s upon delta and one of the s can be written as s minus a s minus b s minus c which is in fact 3s minus 2s and if we split them s into s minus a upon delta then s into s minus b upon delta and s into s minus c upon delta it will make cot a by 2 plus cot b by 2 plus cot c by 2 which is in fact 11 root 11 by 6 we have calculated it earlier that's why d option is correct so the answers are the answers are b and c only b and d only c is the wrong option b and d are the right options